Yeah. 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 At least these lot are one of the ones that wait for the gate to be closed. Yeah. They will know what this is by now. So I forgot to do my intro earlier, so I'm gonna do the intro now with I'm already here. So this one people is Collindale Police Station. So here we have the back gate. Yeah, well, the front and back gate, entrance in and out. Okay, you got the main road. And here's the front desk entrance. So, yeah. We'll be picking this back up in a bit. Got the little met flag flying up high. So this building has a unique structure to it. It's like rounded. Haven't really seen one this shape before. Like here you got the traditional blue police light thing. You got the Collindale Police Station sign on the side. So yeah. This is it. Alright guys, so it's been brought to my attention um after doing some research. Um I've been able to find the information with regards to photography and um, filming under the Terrorism Act so this is what I've printed off I'll put a link to it in the description so you can read it for yourself but specifically here under section 4 13 paragraph 5 on the last sentence it says the person being searched should never be asked or allowed to turn the device on or off because of the danger of evidence being lost or damaged so as you know with a lot of auditing um the police are always asking us to turn off the cameras stop filming they want to see what we've got and what we've recorded with regards to them having concerns and stuff but legally they can't do that like you've seen it in their codes of practice and by them telling you to do that that isn't allowed like unless there's reasonable grounds to suspect that you or a vehicle you're traveling in is going to be committing any acts of terrorism or the vehicle will be used for terrorism they've got no grounds to um ask you to stop recording if they do ask you to stop recording then the phone has to get seized so they're not allowed to tamper with it and it's to be sent off to the correct department for analysis so what i'm doing now with regards to this i'm going to be walking around with this piece of paper so when they stop me i'll just be pointing it out also here um, in section 4131A members of the public and media do not need a permit to film or photograph in public places now in one of the um, videos I haven't released yet you'll see that the police approached us and was asking do we have a permit to film now again you do not need a permit it's there in their codes of practice so literally I'm just trying to spread the message and everything so you are aware for future auditors to make them aware and so people genuinely know their rights and what you're allowed to do what you're not allowed to do and stay within the boundaries of the law so i'm going to cut it right here and i'll pick it up when i get some activity that was good. That was I'm making a video Thank <laughs> you. 
should have ever turned the music <laughs> Yeah. Mm. Well, got quite a bit of a queue going on there. Mm. <laughs> Oh, how did I miss that before? There's one of those yellow phone boxes again. Yeah, no, we just need to film. <laughs> you have to let me know, by the way, before you turn that. Yeah, I don't. It's not a policy, you let me know. It's not. Yeah, you do, because you lot hold information about me, so technically I could request that, because you're, you're up for an institution, so any sort of data you collate on me, you can request it, but I don't have to take for it. You do. You do, it's in your calls of practice. Honestly, you do. I'm not trying to be clever, but you actually... It is in your calls of practice, trust Honestly. me. Sergeant, yeah. would you mind identifying, please? Sorry? Would you mind identifying? Who I am? Please. Yeah, 1385 Northwest. And what's your name? Sergeant Vanderbilt. Okay, what can we do for you? I just want... I'm off to Tesco and I'm just wondering what you do. Okay. You were filming, so well, I was we wondering... We don't want to stop doing anything. Tesco. If you want to go to Tesco... I'm going to go to Tesco, I don't come back. I was just paying an interest in what you were doing. Okay, what do you think? What do you think we're doing? I thought you were filming, it's just not very yeah, interesting, we are, we are it's the outside filming, of the building. I was just wondering what it was for. That was it. Do you not know like, the, the motive? Sorry? Do you not know the motive? Motive of what? Of, of why we're here to film? I don't know, that's what I was asking. You really don't know? 100%, don't know. Alright, fair enough. Do you, do you want to tell me why you're filming? It's not my job to tell you, I'm afraid. A memo has gone round, uh, there's plenty of information on uh, the purposes for filming. Obviously it's our right to film, we've come here. It's entirely your right to film, yeah? yeah? I'm not saying you can't do it, it's just paying an interest. Yeah. Just no, be friendly. You, you know, no, of course, that, that friendly sort of reaction just caught me a little bit by surprise. Usually, like, the uh, reaction's a little bit more adverse. So the fact that you've come out smiling, it kind of suggested to me that you already kind of knew what was going on. No, I do. All right, okay, well then I'm mistaken, forgive me. No, I just paying an interest. I'm coming this way and I thought, filming the outside of the police building, yeah, it's... It's not very Usually I get a more kind of screw facing reaction, like not, not a big like wide smile on that. But. You haven't done anything to me, why would I be? Oh, oh, <laughs> Thank you, Sadie. What would I do about it? No, so you, you, you don't, don't want to tell me what it's for? Can't look it up? Well, right, go to Tesco, come back and I'll tell you. Alright, well, All right, man. Is, is it what, like streaming or is it something that comes out later? Yeah, 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 something like that. I, I can't give it away, man. Go to Tesco, I'll tell you. I back. didn't, didn't know it was a secret. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll come back in a minute. Alright. I'll get his get his so yeah, there's a little interaction there with a sergeant. Seems a friendly enough guy, but to be fair, I think that these officers are clued up on where it is now. They just want you to see. But you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. Um, so, Richard just made a point. Say it again. Say it again. Yeah. So, so what I was just saying on, on my no, what I was just saying on my camera yeah. is, I'm sure these officers they know what it is, but they just want you to see it. So yeah. they're aware, they just play dumb, sometimes, it's a different approach that they take. Yeah. So sometimes they'll play the friendly act, sometimes they'll play the aggressive act, sometimes they'll play the I don't know act. Yeah. But realistically, at the end of the day, they know what it is and they always try to get your channel out of there, out of you, so they can go and search it and complain and get the videos removed and stuff. That's what they do, trust you me. You reckon? Yeah. I feel like, I don't know, like, I feel like that is a very interesting thing. Why are you... Why are you Then obviously it's um they they've got they're biased, isn't it? Do you know what I'm trying to say? Like they're yeah. biased because they already know. But yeah. if they act like they don't know and they come out and be friendly, then it does that make sense? It, it makes them look better. Yeah. Does it make sense? It yeah, makes them look better. Oh, for sure they know what it is. Like I was saying, but yeah, many, these, many of these auditors have already come and done these faces already. So um, it's know. not something that's new to them. 
yeah, I'm sure they have dealt with um, you know, all the things are becoming more mainstream now, so I'm sure that many of these officers are aware and, and, and the message should have somehow trickled down. Because I was expecting, even like six months ago when I was doing this, I was expecting the message to have got across, but obviously there's a bit of a delay, and only now it seems to the, the message is getting heard. But yeah, interesting point. So let me know in the comments, do you think they're playing dumb and they know, or do you think he generally doesn't know? And he just happens to be friendly. This one, I mean, if, you, if the latter is the case, you know, I don't want to, I don't want to discredit him for that. But I don't know. It, it, it all seems a bit, a bit suspect to me. But yeah, let me know in the comments. What? No, I am. I am. Yeah. All oh, right. My bad. Sorry. <laughs> so, guys, yeah. In the comments let us know let us know what do you think like did he genuinely know like is he playing dumb we don't know but there are a lot of auditors that are doing what they're doing now and to be fair we do reckon that a lot of the police are clued up as to what's going on and they are allowing us to exercise our rights to film in public like we've been here for a little while and haven't had any grief so far but yeah let us know and I'll come back to you once there's some more activity. Yeah, it's going to Tesco's combat. So, we'll update on the situation. We're doing our purpose today. Why we're filming. Uh, we'll see if there's anything that we've got to say. Yeah, we're going to film it. Yeah, we're Let's wait for him to finish up with the concert to us. if they respect the right to film. Um, often legislation is misused to stop us filming. So I was actually here once before. I was detained under Section 33. of the terrorism act. A uh, lady from counter-terrorism, I forgot her name, Miss Gilroy or something, had to come out and speak to me. So I'm that guy. The aim is, you know, I don't know, in the long run or otherwise, to kind of promote um, transparency, open government, stuff like that, improve relations between, uh, between public and police. You know, we don't come in to try and antagonise or, or wind people up, but a lot of the time I. Yeah. Wind me up at all? No, good, good. Of course, that, that's not the reaction. Obviously, Perfect it makes for a better, like, nice to it makes for a better video if you come out and, and twist me up on that. <laughs> like, I'm going to be honest, it does make for a better video. I get paid more, but sorry about that. No, it's fine. But I'm not encouraging <laughs> it. But obviously, people do like to see the positive reactions too, and the ultimate aim of what we're doing again, as I mentioned, open government, transparency improving relations between the public and police so the fact that you've come out smiling and stuff uh, people are going to see it be like yeah yeah of course obviously it's like interesting behaviour and you know you're going to get a reaction you honestly not know I feel like you know I watched the video back and I was looking at your body language hand on heart I did not know well our, our um, public access officer is a girl in there when they all know people filming outside and I thought on my way to Tesco I'll go and find out what he did well, fair enough then didn't, maybe I'm misjudged well, to be fair, this is a really positive and good reaction if you genuinely didn't know. So you're going to yeah. come across good on camera anyway. Because <laughs> yeah. we're, we're, we're a little bit kind of thinking about this some conspiracy. He knows and he's come out just to be the PR person and that. Like, you, you know what I mean? My head was all in a twist, to be honest. Oh, but, no, mate. I was literally getting that. Yeah, all right, all right. But obviously, like, the things I've just mentioned about Section 43 and that, do you not see how there's, like, kind of two ends of spectrum? Like, so, do you not think that's a concerning as a police officer? You've got kind of different... Obviously, when I wasn't there, and I don't know what your behaviour was like, I don't know what grounds you gave to the person to detain you under. 
you know I can't comment on that because it's a specific incident that I wasn't there at. Today, I've come out, you haven't given me any justification to do anything other than have a friendly chat, which is what I've done. So I wouldn't be interested in telling you any because I haven't got any power to do so. But you know that I can't comment on a different situation yeah. I wasn't there. What? But you're more than welcome to carry yeah. on filming. The only reason I was intrigued is because this is dull. Yeah. So obviously I knew, you know, there, I knew there was some reason why you yeah. finished, I didn't know what so, it was. So basically, you want to see what happens. It's dull, it's dull. Whether we come out kicking and screaming yeah. and come yeah. up and do things yeah. we shouldn't do. But which, some of the police stations have got the same infrastructure, like Collindale, Lewisham, Sutton, Bromley. I feel like they, I think they're all designed by the same person. So obviously Probably. you do say it's dull, but I yeah. save money anyway they can, wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah I suppose. Probably pay a different designer to yeah. design each police station. Yeah, I suppose. But I feel like it's the, it's the bigger ones. I don't know. These ones have got a very specific um, design. But anyway, there's more interesting things to do than talk about um, Met Police building yeah. infrastructures. Alright, I'll, um, I'll go and let my colleague inside know because she was a, a little bit intimidated. Yeah, we'll probably wrap this up right here to be honest, we don't want to... Uh, I'll just let her know that I've had a chat with you and you're perfectly nice people yeah, yeah. and not thank to worry about much. it and then you can thank stay you as long as you want. Okay. Excellent. Alright, thank, so thank you. Alright, cheers, see you later. Alright guys, so there you have it. We've just had a friendly chat with the sergeant. Pretty fine, like... Genuinely didn't know what was going on. Um, he's happy with us to be here, happy with our explanation. Wasn't even bothered about using section 43. He said, literally we haven't given him a reason to even have him attempt to detain us or anything. So yeah, like for me, that's a positive reaction, but let me know in the comments what you think. You know what I mean? Like all the police, becoming more aware of letting us film in public like are we allowed to do our legal right to film and take photos um personally i think that was a positive reaction haven't had any grief or anything so i'm probably gonna wrap this one up here and go home and eat some dinner signing out <laughs>